All right, guys, in the cooler time. Uh, setting up here, gonna start putting on the clamps, tightening stuff down, and going from there. All right, guys, look at this. I think you got it all together. I just need to run a vacuum line from the blow off valve. And I definitely need an up pipe so it doesn't blow right into the intercooler. But I think it's all hooked up and it's going to work. I just gotta tee, uh, block off some of those vacuum spots on the manifold there. And, uh,. We should have boosty noises. We should have some boost. So we'll see. We'll see. Things are happening. This is great. Alright guys. Here we go. I think I got everything hooked up. I think I got all the boost leaks and vacuum lines. I don't know. Let's start it. Let's see what happens. See if we can make turbo noises. All right, guys, there it is. I don't know if there's boosts. I think I'm gonna boost gauge and plug it in somewhere. I have one. I just need to get a little vacuum line and run it inside. Um, I think there's boost. There's definitely a lot of smoke. So there's definitely a lot of air. It might be just my intake manifold. Yeah, skip. It's kind of sucky to change, but hey, if that's what it is, and if we can make it work a little better, let's do it. So I don't know. But man, just a little time, we got this whole thing going. Um, I definitely want an up pipe so I can hook an O2 sensor or wideband into it. At least the O2 sensor so it knows what's going on. And yeah. I think it's ready. I think we got good stuff going on over here with old Boosty A. So, it's looking great, guys. Pumped. 
All right, guys, it's a new day. You saw the last video with the car running. Uh, I'm gonna work on finding out all the issues. You saw some of the smoky issues with the coolant. I'm also gonna check for vacuum leaks. I already have a, I did find the return line on the pan. Uh, it is leaking, so I tighten that up. I could turn it a couple more times. Hopefully that feel, fills that leak. But the good sign is there's oil in the pan because it is running out of the return line. So oil is being fed, so that's good. So we're going to look it over, see what we got, spray some starting fluid, see if I can pinpoint any of the bad spots or vacuum leakage stuff with the turbo system. And hopefully we can boost and make cool boosty noises. So we'll see what we can do. All right. Um, I'm going to attempt to take it down so it will drive. Take it off the ramps, level it out, check some stuff. Alright guys, I think here's the culprit to the boost leak. There's definitely coolant in the first cylinder. This was not attached at all. Um, the whole gasket is soaked right here. So I think it was just leaking into the cylinder. Right here's the wet spot. You can see the whole gasket's now wet. So I think the boost was pushing it all over the place this gasket is no good so yeah <sighs> I'm gonna have to yeah you can see it down there let's see if I can it's right there you can see where it's leaking down there this is definitely the leak and a new gasket all right guys fast forwarding a few days because i had to order a part it came in got a new intake manifold gasket it was definitely leaking on the spot here you can still see where it's wet and there was a fail failure in the gasket there Hopefully that's just it. So I got it on, got everything buttoned up, and I'm re plugging the uh, injectors and the harness there. And I think I got all the vacuum lines covered. Got a cheap boost gauge with some hardware store rubber line. That I think will work for now, just to show if there's boost. So hopefully I can just button this all back up reconnect some stuff and uh, hopefully this will fix the problem all right guys it's filled up i got the new intake manifold gasket i think everything is hooked up i think i got the vacuum lines taken care of for leaks let's see if it sprays out more water if so it's head gasket then i'm just going to send it drive it smoking and uh, do a couple runs before it's completely dead
right guys, main voyage. Look at this, look at this monstrosity hanging out from my hood. This is awesome. All right guys, this is amazing. Here. You can hear turbo noises and I lost something. it it's alive it's not smoking as bad it's definitely oil now so I don't think it's head gasket guys and make sure you're ready for this challenge uh, July 1st we're dropping everything but check out all the other people participating in the comp in the description below make sure you comment like subscribe hit that notification become a super subscriber follow along for more crap like this more haggard style turbo stuff so this is this has been a fun project for the dying D series and the EF sedan. There's more to come to the EF sedan. Also more to come with the S2000. I'll show you now what I got. So thank you that you watched to the end. You get to see the goodies. Let's see what we got going on. So there's definitely more to come. Don't miss it guys. Again, go hit up all those other channels. Comment on their stuff. Check out what they're doing. Some of them are just as hilarious as this. And uh, again, make sure you hit the notification. Get ready for July 1st when everyone in the competition drops their results and show all the stuff going on with the, with this. So we got a week, we got about a week. Um, I'm feel, I feel pretty good, we're not leaking, we're definitely smoking, but uh, if we can create a little boost, we can have a little fun, we can do a sick burnout on the pad out here, the burnout pad. We're having a good day.